up with y'all. We got 424. Hey, so we're gonna start off with the build up first. You could play it on short passing if you like to keep possession and shit. If not, you could play it on that. All right, man. So for your line height, you could play it anywhere from like 60 to 71. You could start with 60 first, depending on the type of center backs that you have. Like, you know, if you play foot and you just got like some starter center backs, that's fine. But once you get like some better center backs, I think 70 is good. All right, so we're going to get to the rows, your left wing. You can play him on the plus for inside forward. But shit, if you don't like the AI movement for that, you can play him on winger. Also, depending on the work rates for the players that you have, you could try Roman. Like, if he has high attack and work rates but low defensive, try Roman on him. So, yeah, he's going to go into the spaces that you see on them green spots. All right, your left striker. You might as well play him on a plus, but if you got advanced forward, I would probably play one on advanced forward. All right, next, it's gonna be the right one. Again, you would probably play this one on the pass forward, but since he has the plus on it, you might as well just play the plus because you know, the AI is gonna make better movement for you. All right, your right wing, you could play this one on winger. And then I would say, put this on balance. It'll make sense later, but your fullback's gonna overlap sometimes. So you need somebody, you know, to cover the ground. All right, man, so your right center mid, you can play him on this. So he's gonna kind of play like the Conte role. And then, you know, it defaults out on balance, but try this one first. Left center mid. If he has like the plus bird deep line playmaker, you play him on that. If not, you could just play him on holding. But yeah, I know y'all gonna like buy some center mids that probably have the pluses on the play style or probably two pluses, so you'll be all right. All right, your left fullback, you could play him as a wing back. If you remember, you got your left wing on Roman, so sometimes he might not, you know, move back on defense and shit. So with wing back, He'll move up the pitch, and then the AI will move back. All right, so for your other fullback, you can play him on attack and wing back. All right, so you remember your right wing is on balance. So in the case that your fullback does overlap past them, and, you know, like I lose the ball or some shit, he's going to cover that space until, you know, he moves back into the spot. All right, man, your left center back, you could play him on defender. It doesn't really matter, but if he had like stopper or some shit and you had the plus on it, you can play him on that. Just play him on the highest plus for these. Your keeper. Again, put him on sweeper keeper. All right, so this is how it's going to look in game. Just know you got a left wing and a right wing instead of left mid and right mid. So it's going to stretch their fullbacks out. And that's what's going to leave more space for your two strikers in the middle. All you got to do is just create the triangles. And then, you know. Once a player moves into that space, you just find a pass, and then you get your goal like that. But yeah, if you play like a 4-4-2, you could use this as the second formation, you know, when you're trying to get back into the game. All right, man, subscribe. Use the code that's up top. We also do gameplay and shit. We got foot champs. We also going to do rewards. So check the channel out, and I'm going to catch y'all.